Milady, here's the best part about this. That shaving cream take a hint, you dudes. It needs to be a way to weaponize this. Come on, give me the thoughts down below. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video for the day. We're going back into r slash just neckbeard things. And if you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see another video like this one in the near future, be sure to hit that like button. Let's shoot for 1,000 likes in the first 24 hours. Leave a comment down below. Give me some animes to recommend, because honestly, I need something to do in this, all these whole uh, plague times and stuff. And if you have not already, subscribe and turn on the notifications okay doka let's go 17 reasons why japan is like a super advanced planet that i'm totally obsessed with let me guess number one is their alexa system feature little anime girls that call you big brother fun fact we all stopped caring after episode 20 and the last four episodes made you question if it's the same show yeah not me you need to have a high iq to understand the climax of franks hey dude don't come in here with that rick and morty level stuff or drilling equipment can only go so far down on human stupidity levels. Honestly, I never saw the ending of Darling in the Franks. A lot of people say that it is it gets weird towards the end, um, but honestly, uh, I only saw it because it's giant robots, and it, it reminded me a whole lot of Pacific Rim with the whole two-pilot setup. Uh, although theirs is uh, a little different, to put it lightly. Feminism is cancer, he typed. Vaping and chugging Mountain Dew is killing us men. The microwave dinged. His tequila were ready. How'd I do making something stupid sound so serious? By the way, taquitos are actually pretty awesome. Don't tie them into this dude, but like, yeah, seriously, don't, don't try to sound edgy on the internet. You're not helping your case. Honestly, I saw this on here. I was kind of confused about it, but yeah, the sword's a little excessive, but aside from that, it actually looks pretty cool. You know, like having stuff in your gaming setup themed around your favorite character in animation. I don't know if this, uh, whoever this is, uh, he looks like somebody from Demon Slayer, honestly. Um, but in general, uh, yeah, if I were to do the same thing, uh, mine would honestly be a gaming chair theme with Upgrade from Ben 10, the original series, because that was my favorite character. If dating apps allowed you to match with anyone in the world, the American women on these apps would become way less entitled when they started losing out to the international women who always have personalities. If a day comes when the popular dating apps allow you to match with anyone around the world, not just your country, free of charge, it will be the best thing for American men and the worst thing for American women, because women in Europe, Asia, and Africa don't act like they're the center of the universe, and that because they have a V, they are the gatekeepers. Women outside of the states have personalities and have higher intellectual capacities, coming from the person who was outmatched by a lemon. Plus, they are 95% of the time better looking, says the person who's outmatched by fungus. So when you add intelligence, personality, and better looks, you get more desirable people. Sadly, we don't have access to the good market, just a lower quality, poor man market. Watching anime with subtitles and being fluent in Japanese, corporate needs you to find the difference between this picture and this picture. They are the same picture. Okay, just gonna debunk this for everybody right now. People who in Japan don't actually talk like they do in anime. Like, one of the first panels I ever went to when I went to Otakon explicitly told people that visited the panel that said, for starters, you are not going to learn Japanese from anime. You might learn a couple of words like what and titty, but that's you're not gonna be fluent as a Rosetta Stone in it, okay? White Knight Industry, Security Services and Products. Okay, if they don't have a door greeter that says, me, my lady, I am going to give it a one star rating, okay? The fact that you are basically able to play on lower difficulty and let the game hand over the win for you is kind of a downer. Your progress doesn't really matter when you know that the casuals are encouraged to bypass all of the challenge with ease. Real gamers such as myself, play games the way they are meant to be played. Okay, let me just say this here and now. You can't call yourself a fan of something or a, like a gamer and enjoyer of anime if you deny other people's 
enthusiasm for it just because it isn't as extreme as your own. And I have seen this way too much to just have me not just suddenly think about it. This is something I've been thinking about for a long time. You can't call yourself a fan if you're gatekeeping other people from being a fan as well. Like, you're not allowed to be a fan because you don't have the exact same type of stuff nor it drive for it as me. That just makes you sound as stupid as possible. Neckbeard messaging a girl with an anime profile picture. But it's another Neckbeard using a female anime character. Yeah, you know, it just turns into that good old Spider-Man pointing meme at that point. I need some help, guys. Making a throwaway for this. Please help me. I'm devastated. I have been crying non-stop and almost threw up. Yesterday, my mom walked into my room when I wasn't home. She threw away my waifu body pillow. I'm not mentioning my waifu due to controversy surrounding her age. That don't make it right though. No one is stopping you from eshing and peeing yourself whenever you feel like. And never change clothes or showering. It's not against the law to do that. Look, just because something might not be against the law doesn't make it morally acceptable. Also, ew. I am done just ranting. I want to actively defy them. I am done ranting on social media and among friends. I want to be a real nuisance. I want to have my demands heard. I want to have my anger felt. I want to resist. And yet everything I do feels pointless. For a year, I have been wearing my mask under my chin, or going full-on maskless, when really frustrated. It feels like, uh, I am achieving S. Hey look, if I sees it, I reads it. It's not my fault you make yourself sound so stupid. I tore down social distance posters with friends, and they were put back up after a few days, as if nothing happened. I wrote a satirical piece on the virusinism, a church of the virus, and left it at bus stops. I feel like no one read it. Oh, well, if you have the balls to be able to stick around to have people actually read it, they could have a voice on what your thoughts are. Things are slowly getting better with the vaccines being distributed. It's just a matter of time for more to be made and more for more to go out. It And people like this are not making things any bit easier. All attractive women should be required to be nude in public. Okay, hear me out. We all have boobs. We all love attractive women. I think there should be a law in the United States that the women with whom society seems attractive be required to go about their daily lives completely nude for the enjoyment of men everywhere. Let's be real. We have all been on the bus or the train and saw a hot woman and wondered what they look like naked. This law would cut out the middleman and allow that fantasy to become a reality. Now, as for the safety of these nude hot women, they should be allowed to carry a pew-pew and or a pews to defend themselves. They will also be given a license to kill, but only, and I mean only, if a guy tries to touch them in any way. Not only is this outrageous and stupid, but at the same time, there should also be a law that states you're not allowed to be outside in anything lower than winter wear, you know, the full-on Cartman getup. When you go to Japan and steal a girl's panties, but instead of being called Baka and having a harem, you are labeled as a registered ass offender. What is this place? You know, fun fact, that the whole slice of life part, that slice is actually a lot smaller than some people are able to comprehend. Meanwhile, some people are so stupid they think that slice is actually the whole pie. X body spray is a good alternative to taking showers. What difference does it make? You still smell good either way. But dosing some X body spray on is much faster and lasts just as long if you use enough. I know you need shampoo, but you can use dry shampoo and be done with it too. I strongly prefer X body spray for taking a shower and I've gone as long as 62 days without taking one, and nobody said anything. 
As long as I use enough Axe body spray before going out, I think we waste too much time taking showers. It's like a walking version of those garbage can commercials where you see them just spray stuff over it and it just gets rid of the smell. No dude, there's still the fungus. But I honestly don't expect you to understand that. Me saying F you to all of the thoughts who push real men like me away when all we do is treat them like queens. Ah uh, yes, hello lady. Nice milker. Okay, I compliment you. Suck me off now. Dude's got an itinerary on where to be stupid and when to be stupid. Wait a wait wait a minute. This is an episode of The Bachelor. I gotta see if this is real. Woo! Yeah, baby! That's what I've been waiting for. That's what it's all about. Woo! Okay, this is about as good as that person that they, they said that they were a professional chicken tenders expert. My bad, just chicken enthusiast. Still, bachelor and bachelorette, what is up with the job titles? Honestly, this is just entertaining at this point. People who address girls as females cannot be trusted. Yeah, man, you tell them, Kirby. Yeah, honestly, I, I just don't take anybody seriously if you use National Geographic documentary terms to describe stuff that's not National Geographic documentaries. You know, like using the terms alpha, beta, and all the, all the Greek alphabet stuffs. Well, females, males. Like, I can care less if you have an anime profile picture. No, it's when you use these words is when you lose all hope for yourself. Ah, great. As if I needed another reason to avoid Walmart, they have a straight-up armory. If these dudes were smart enough to get into a single file line, would that be an assembly line too? JAV Company opens adult theme park staffed entirely by adult film stars. Oh my god, that's disgusting. Where? Yeah, I looked in the comments to see what people said, and someone said, unfortunately, even though it does have the name theme park, there are in fact no roller coasters. That is a bummer. Honestly, that had me kind of thinking of one thing, like once things do start to go back to normal and tourism becomes more normal, uh, and go basically going back to the normal and frequent, I could imagine that there'd be some kind of like surge for people getting out of the country as soon as possible and i just hope that everything goes well for everybody wanting to go see the world you know fat chicks why is it that you can find lucas warner's chin out of a police lineup even i'm super into working out lifting weights being healthy is my biggest passion in life. I'd like a girl that's into fitness like me and works out at least once a week. Yes, sadly, somehow I'm fat, but I believe healthiness is a lifestyle. I work out with extreme intensity every day. I don't know how I'm fat, to be honest. I'm down to date a fat girl, as long as she exercises like me, but there's no a way a girl can work out as much as me and still be fat. My fatness is a legit a mystery. I shouldn't be fat. Well, uh, maybe if you're having a little trouble losing weight, the one thing is you could first try to factor in is any sleep and or eating habits, stuff like that could be a limiting factor. Then again, putting probably no fat chicks in your profile is not the best way to meet someone. And with that, that is going to have to be it with the video. If you guys would love to be absolutely amazing, show your support, and see another video like this one in the near future be sure to hit that like button leave a comment down below and if you guys have not already subscribe and turn on notifications i'll be sure to see you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and bye bye <laughs>